I thought you might be interested in how I tie my weighted San Juan worm. As we discussed previously, the San Juan worm is a fly that you should have in your fly box. One of my top three or four go-tos as a nymph. So I've already put the bead on this hook right there. And with the bead, there's different color ones, but I think you can see you always put the small hole of the bead through the hook. So the larger hole faces backwards. So I pre-cut a few things and I have a my bobbin ready to go with some red thread. So I just start this. Cut off the excess. And I usually go down to the shank. I just have this feeling if a fish touches it, somehow if they touch thread instead of metal, it might be a little better and maybe they won't spit it out quite as quickly. Now, I take a piece of Chanel, I've already pre-cut it, and I go right through that bead hole. And I always make the uh, piece of Chanel that I use a little bit bigger because I can cut it at the end down to size. So I'm not trying to be, it's not expensive. There's no reason to be uh, chintzy with it. And so, what do I got going on here? So I pull that right through there. And again, it gets a little beat up coming through. And that's why I have excess and we'll cut that at the end. It's already taken shape. As we know, with a San Juan worm, it's a nymph that we like to fish on or near the bottom of the uh, fish zone. So I'm gonna add a little lead wire on here. So I just move the Chanel out of the way for now. And tie this on. Again, back to the shank and then put my Chanel right across the top. And I'm gonna just tie that in and it'll move on you, which is okay. You can position it so it stays on top with each wrap. And I really build up right behind the bead. I really don't want that bead slipping around at all. So there we go, it's already taken shape. Now I'm gonna take my wire and just wrap it kind of right where my thread wraps were. Adding weight, adding something a little shiny. Maybe it'll help attract killer brown or rainbow or cutthroat trout. And again, I just tie that in right behind the bead really well. And then we'll just get rid of that excess. You can just kind of helicopter it off, actually break off sooner than later. There it goes. And we're basically done. Um, there it is. Now I'm gonna take a little dubbing because I like to add a little dubbing, very little, and just build up that thorax right behind, right behind the bead.
looking pretty good. And because I'm terrible with the whip finish, I just kind of tie this knot by hand to tie it off. One, two, and three. I'm done with my thread. I am going to now cut this down to size. That's a little long, like I said, I keep it a little long because it's easier to go through the bead. Oh, that's look, looking like a very good San Juan worm. I think my friends, Sam or Bob, are gonna catch some serious trout with this one. And then I'm gonna burn the tips. One, I think it looks a little bit more realistic. And two, it'll just keep it from fraying. So it doesn't take much. Perfect. And I'm gonna turn that upside down so I don't burn the thread at all. I don't know if you saw that, but I got it. I'm going to take a little bit of head cement and I'm gonna put it right where I made that knot, right there. So I can um, just make sure that that knot doesn't come undone. Obviously trying not to get any in the eye of the hook, because then it would be very troublesome on the water. I'm gonna hit it real quick. We can dry it, cure nicely. And that didn't take too long. And there I have finished San Juan Worm. Ready to go. <laughs>